Hello, welcome. If you're new, welcome back. If you're returning, today is my cottage core, French country inspired budget patio makeover. Now, this house, the garden is enormous. Um, we're only overlooked on one side, and when I say overlooked, their deck's quite high. Um, but there's no shade whatsoever. Uh, we'd initially, when we moved in, we'd set up a bit of a patio just to see how things were once the summer came we were gonna we knew we were going to have to do something because like I said there's no shade the last property was all shade and it was beautiful we had a big tree but obviously this one because we had nothing we knew we had to do something so um, I went out and got some plants and some flowers for the pots so we could at least make it pretty in the meantime so I'd planted up most of my big pots and um, I've got a couple of vegetables out and going because I, like I said because there's so much sun we figured we'd at least we'd give the flowers a head start so this is basically what we started with and the first bit of hot weather we realized we needed a gazebo so I looked on Wayfair and found one that was 60% off, uh, picked that up. Um, it wasn't anything major. I would, like I said, if we were staying here, I, we would have put a, a permanent fixture up. But because it's just the rental, we decided to go with something just to keep it um, a little bit of shade and to keep the bugs out. So once the gazebo was up we decided we needed a summer bar so this was an old fireplace that we found for $35 and a headboard for $10 we took the existing mantle off cut it up to fill the space where the firebox had been in the fireplace and then just screwed the headboard to the top of the fireplace which gave us a bar um, my husband put a couple of shelves in the back and voila it was hard for us because we'd come from the last house where we had the pub and we really especially my husband missed the bar so this was a nice summer bar which fit perfectly in the gazebo we put up the netting and then I decided because we were slightly overlooked on one side you can see just behind the bar I decided I needed to put some curtains up so what I decided to do was grab some Ikea linen type curtains that I'd got and adapt those to fit. I had four panels of curtains from Ikea. These were the linen type curtains. So these would have been attached by hooks to a curtain rod. So I took the, I shortened them from the top um, to the length of the gazebo. I took the seam, I cut the seams off at the side and this gave me my ready-made straps to attach it to the gazebo. So I cut it to length, turned it down and then cut straps for the correct length to make ribbons to attach um, to the existing gazebo. Once the curtains were hung, I made pillowcases for the patio cushion. So this is literally the shape of a pillowcase. So it's sewn on two sides, or in my case, I made a sausage, sewed it up the middle, and then sewed one end, slipped the, the patio cushion inside, and then sewed it up by hand. This material was a really good quality cotton sheet that I had. For the pillows, the back pillows, I initially had these two big pillowcases, they're like the European size that I picked up for a dollar each from the thrift store. And because I didn't have enough material to completely cover them, but I did like the frill and certain elements of them, I took a square of the same sheet fabric, cut it just a little bit smaller than the pillowcase, sewed it on by hand and then trimmed it with this trim just to tie everything together. Mm -hmm. 
I picked up this umbrella from the local uh, giant tiger it was I think $13 and I glued this furniture trim to it it's a blue fringe and the IKEA umbrella that I picked up I glued the fringe that came from an old tablecloth and it's glued it all the way around in a couple of places I did have to stitch it um, but that turned out really nicely This little stool was another thrift find, it was $3. It was in quite bad state, the cover underneath was torn so I ripped that off and glued down the same material that was on the pillows. I also re-glued the legs and trimmed it all with the same trim. I decided to make my own bunting out of the red, white and blue material and this was to go inside the perimeter of the gazebo uh, to make it look pretty and also to celebrate the platinum jubilee that was going to be coming up so this is the finished bunting it was all just sewn together on a piece of blue ribbon and just so happened the amount that i'd cut out was the exact perimeter of the gazebo it was just luck so i tied up the curtains which just gives us that little bit of privacy on the one side and then I swept the floors and moved in the furniture and was ready then to dress the room. I decided to set both of my little tables, well one's little and one's larger. The little two-seater table is what we would typically have lunch or dinner if we're eating outside and I set this with my blue spode dinnerware. Um, I thought it would go nice with the blue in the umbrella and the blue trim and the glasses are actually um, match my cut glass set but they're plastic for outside so the plates I have to keep an eye on, but the glasses, should the wind catch them, it's okay if they uh, should hit the floor. So this is just, just set for two, whether it's in the afternoon or in the evening. And uh, it's sometimes it's just nice to use nice dinnerware, especially outside in the summertime. It's something that, it's just out, out of the ordinary, it's nice to enjoy your nice dinner sets. The larger table is set for dinner for four. This is my red spode dinnerware, the one that I picked up for my birthday, and it was just lovely to get this out. I also had the recently thrifted napkins to go with it. I just put a little lemon on each plate. The bumblebee glasses were ones that I picked up many years ago I thrifted these I think I had eight glasses and four jugs um, I've only got six glasses left and two jugs um, the tablecloth is one that I've had for a long time it was used indoors but it's got that many stains on it that I figured you know what I can use this outside I can leave it out there and it's nothing's going to happen to it just grab it bring it in throw it in the washer and it's good to go um, as I said, I set the table for four and this is an artificial piece of ivy that just runs through the middle of the table and then the citronella candles that really come in handy should we go into the evening uh, to get rid of all those pesky little bugs. Um, and here's the umbrella that goes with the bigger table. I 
I have two of these old winery barrels because we're very close to all the wineries in the Niagara area. You can pick these up quite cheaply. I think we picked them up for, I want to say, $35, $40 each. So those are planted up and, and those are great because they don't dry out too quickly in the, the humidity. Um, I've also got uh, the terracotta pots that are um, planted. I have a couple of places to sit in the rest of the garden. Uh, this little reading area, this is nice, it's in full sun. Uh, it's two um, slightly reclined chairs. These uh, chair pads were $3 each. I thrifted three of those a little while ago. And then the little artificial arrangement on the coffee table. That's nice because I don't have to water it. Um, over in the corner is another old bench and a little table with the lantern and I do have some battery lights that will go in there and it's just nice to look out at night and see the little lantern lit up. There's my fire pit, I'm going to pick up, try and pick up some Adirondack chairs for over there um, but at the moment I've got enough chairs for the garden. This is a nice area to sit that uh, reclining chair with the umbrella is really nice to sit and sunbathe in and this is the only shaded area in the garden so that is Ursula she comes with me and has been with me for many years so she's in the shade with the um, hostas obviously they don't like full sun and there's another little fire pit behind there and this little chair is like I said it's just nice to be in the shade as it's the only shaded area in the garden So this is the gazebo, um, I have all the pots filled with the greenery, that little uh, water feature was what's left of a wall mounted water feature. Um, I've kept that, I've had that for probably 30 years and I just like to keep it in the garden. Again, it's something familiar that I keep with me. These two lion's head I've probably had for about 10, 12 years and they're just on each side of the doorway into the gazebo and then the rest of the pots are planted out with spiria, irises, anything that uh, I've picked up and also I've put some little um, solar lights in just to give a little bit of light at night when we don't have the overhead lights on. So the little rug came from indoors, had a couple of stains, I figured it was good until I found a nice one for outdoors. Then the bar, I just dressed it for the summer with the little piece of lace wrapped around which makes it feel very summery and romantic. The flowers are from the garden and the little citronella candle. This little chair was five dollars and the it was a garage sale find and the two little pads were 50 cents each. The little table holds the candles which are battery operated so perfect for outdoors and the, all the little items were thrifted, nothing more than a dollar. Uh, the two pillowcases were thrifted finds, I've had those for a few years and I've been on various beds and couches um, and then I thought they, the flowers just match beautifully with the covers that I'd made for the old chair pads. The bunting runs, as I said, the perimeter of the gazebo. I tied a couple of lanterns with a couple of, now these are real candles, but they're surrounded by the glass, so there's not, nothing's gonna happen to those. And then on this side is the comfiest chair ever. The big fluffy pads with the new coverings on, and then the big pillows at the back with a little heart pillow, which was, I think it was a dollar and it's just all very romantic and cottagey. Um, beside that is a little step ladder that I've picked up, which I'm using as a side table, which was a dollar. It's very old and you know, you couldn't stand on it, but you can put your glass on it. And there's another little um, candle in the candlestick, which is plastic and not glass. 
Um, and then of course the two little stalls that came from the bar at the other house, the Union Jack stalls and the little ice bucket uh, with the glass of rosé ready for the afternoon's entertainment. Above the bar I have this little painting that I found. This was, I think it was two dollars and it's just of a hunting scene, like a medieval hunting scene. I just thought it was perfect. Um, it, just to break up the whiteness of the curtains and to stop them from blowing because they're, they're quite loosely held up. So I'm sure you're aware the, we had the Queen's Platinum Jubilee and we celebrated with a bit of a garden party. We got out all our flags, our buntings, all our red, white and blue and we decorated the backyard and the gazebo and had a proper old fashioned garden party, street party as we, they were in the UK and uh, had a really nice time it was the weather was beautiful and everybody bought a little uh, a bit of a potluck uh, we had uh, I grabbed some of the old pictures from the pub and put those out uh, the gazebo for the day became uh, Lizzie's gin palace and we had threw in the decorative uh, lights red white and blue lights the Union Jack pillows couple more pictures of the Queen and a big old flag behind the bar with our big container of pims and a good time was had by all. We set up some games in the garden. We had uh, ring toss, croquet, um, uh, hula hoops, uh, you know various games for everyone and it, we had a really nice day and it was really nice to celebrate 70 years of Her Majesty on the throne. <laughs>